How are you doing? Today I'm going to introduce you to this coach right here. My name is Robin McCracken. I'm the diesel product manager for RV1 Superstores. This is the high end, uh, this is the top of the line that Integra offers and in my opinion one of the best values period for your dollar. This will go up against used Prevos, this will go up against anything you want for the same power package, 600 horsepower. Nothing out there is going to compete with it as far as horsepower, weight ratios, all this kind of stuff that is important to these guys that want to climb up these mountains and break the speed limit. So what you have here is one of the baddest animals out there. There's nothing that will touch this. Quarter million dollars extra and you won't touch the value of this coach. Let me show you a few things that I think make this the best value on the market today. So what you got here, as far as the front door section, is you have a nice curvature. Uh, this coach is known to keep the wind out and the noise out. Part of it is the insulation. The other part is how these things are designed. So what I have here is this fairing here that keeps any wind from going inside the door, making that irritate, irritating door leaking of air and noise and rattles and things like that. So this thing will block that. I have the keyless entry that will lock all the bay doors and lock the door, turn on the alarm system, everything else. Then also when I open this, look at this step case. See how that folds out? Okay, unlike a cheap step that you see in some of these coaches, I'm 250 pounds, I could drop on this thing and it doesn't even budge. So it's, it's, it's the best step in the business outside of just lowering the entire coach and not having a step. So that is absolutely incredible. So see how I'd close this door, and part of the reason why this door is not gonna have a wind noise is, Jeremy, you need to get up on here. See, see this little attachment here? The minute I put this coach in drive, release the air brakes, that pushes and wedges that front in to where I don't use a hinge, but what it does is wedge that top door in, keep any wind noise from coming in. So, it's a great setup. Just remember when the wife wants to get out while the motor's running, you're going to have to put it in neutral or you're going to jam that lock and you're going to have to start it over again and things like that. Big controversy today is the light front ends. Everybody weighs their coach and they worry about the tags and all this kind of stuff and the back end and all that. What people don't realize is if you don't have the right weight carrying capability in the front end. This is the same rating as a Prevo bus. Nobody in the industry has got a heavier front end than this one. All right, so like I said, the controversy today on this is a lightweight coach, there's a lot of manufacturers that build these coaches. The minute you take them out of the, out of the driveway of the dealership, you're overweight, you're unsafe. This coach right here has a 20,000 pound front end, 365 tires, Michelin. Those are the biggest tires they make. These, this is amazing. The only other coach out there that does this kind of stuff are King Airs, 800,000, Heritage's, 800,000, Prevo buses, 1.6 million. So you see where I'm coming from. This is a top of the line coach and you're talking in the mid sixes for a list price. So that's where the value is, is you got these massive disc brakes you're not talking drums here, you're talking massive disc brakes, 365 tires, Michelin with a 20,000 pound front end. That is the best and biggest system in the industry, hands down. Another thing that I want to talk about is this is the only all electric slide. Not hydraulics, not, not all this weird stuff that's going on, it's electric. And the advantage to electric is a couple things. One is you have a remote control that I can put these slides in inside or outside the coach and I don't have to have my wife yelling at me saying hey too much this and that in case I'm too close to a tree or a building or whatever it is I just use this remote it's the neatest thing I've ever seen and I'll bring in all four slides right from the outside and I can do it on my own time and park in my own area the other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that this is one of the few manufacturers that bring in a slide 
which everybody does, but most people, most manufacturers have an error factor of like three, four inches. They don't really design these coaches, engineer these coaches where the slides will go in and go out as perfectly as possible. It's too much effort. So what they'll do is they'll put a big flange around here. They'll have a four inch frame all the way around the coach. And what that does is when the slides come in any way they want, they have a piece of rubber on this other end of the four inches and that be able to keep it out of the elements. Integra Coach does it different than anybody else out there. What they do is this slide right here, when it comes in, it will be flush and start turning into something like this. It will have a real clean look. There's only a half inch variance versus two, three, four inch variance. And so when it comes in, it has this real bus-like kind of look. So it has a clean look. You have to look at it twice in order to tell it's even a slide room. So that's pretty amazing. Classic on a typical slide room is to take these bars, drill a hole into the uh, rails, and then put the mechanisms through the rails, and then you're actually messing with the infrastructure of the coach. We do everything on top of the rails. So we're not messing around with the integrity of the coach. It's very clean. And then more importantly, it's, it's very easy. Even you as a customer could replace the slide motor if for some reason it goes out. So that's the entire goal of this coach is to make it very simple to operate, very simple to maintain. I always talk about paint. Paint's a big thing for me. Typical coach will paint at Joe's paint shop. The problem is, is when the fiberglass expands and contracts, you start seeing spider webs. These guys use Sickens paint. Sickens paint's on all the Ferraris, Maseratis. It's on all the luxury $2 million boats. It's on Prevo bus for $2 million. Same paint as what they use. The difference now is, instead of going to a subcontractor, what Integra has done is they weren't happy with the quality control of the subcontractors. So what did they do? They bought their own paint store. And now it's just Integra Jayco products that use that paint facility. You look at anybody else in this price range and you can go all the way up to the Newells and, and for 1.6 million and all that kind of stuff and you're not going to get a better quality paint job than this one is. So it's a couple things. One is the Sickens paint twice as expensive than any other paint out there, and two is the fact that they have their own paint store. So the quality control is just fabulous. Absolutely amazing. One of the most important things that, uh, about this coach, and I just breezed right by it, and, and I can't believe I did that, is not only do these front tires have these massive, like, like street hub size disc brakes for you to stop on a dime, and it's all the way across the board. It's not just disc in the front and then drums in the back. This is the big K3 chassis by Spartan. Spartan has a, uh, their level of chassis, and the biggest chassis they make is the K3. If you look at these fire engine trucks, ladder trucks, that's what this chassis is. It's the most massive chassis in the industry. So when you look at all the high-end coaches out there, and it doesn't matter what brand it is, they all go back to the K3 Spartan chassis. The only difference is, this is $200,000 less money. This is independent front suspension. So the advantage of independent front suspension versus a straight axle, okay, your car is independent front suspension. So when, when I hit a bump with a straight axle, I'm tossing like this. And the, what that means to you is your entire coach is tossing and turning and, and, and getting you seasick. Part of it's probably because of a straight axle. So when you have independent front suspension, the abuse is all going to be on that one tire. Okay, so now we go over here. Now that keypad that uh, we were looking at will lock and unlock all these bay doors, so it's absolutely amazing. This year what we've done also is we made it a much bigger refrigerator. That is a huge refrigerator, put pretty much anything you want on it. I have my remotes for the awnings and I have 110 plugs pretty much any kind of activity you want to run out here you can do. This will do 110 or 12 volts and you can put as much coal or beer or whatever you're into right into this. You also have a remote for the um, awnings. Alright, so I have a manual push button there 
And then what I also have here is I could push out the awnings. So the awnings will come out. They all have LED lighting in it. I have LED lighting underneath the slide room. I could literally, at midnight, sit out here with a cup of coffee and read the newspaper and have plenty of light to do this with. So it's absolutely amazing. I have a nice little slope, 45 degree angle, instead of coming straight out. I have LED lighting all wrapped in here. I have LED lighting all wrapped underneath. Okay, so it's got a real clean look and it's going to be extremely well lit. The other thing I want to talk about is stability of a coach, okay? It's very important not to just put out two rails, put a motor in there, a front suspension, and just go down the highway. These coaches are carrying ceramic tile, they're carrying cabinetry, everything that could potentially crack or leak or squeak is in this coach, all right? So what you have to do is you have to do additives to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So one of the things that I think is absolutely brilliant they have these X bracings all throughout the coach. There's like five of them going this way and then about five of them going in between the rails. And what that does is keep that coach from t twisting around. When, when we're talking about twisting, what you're talking about also is squeaking and rattling. So when you go down the highway and your cabinets are rattling, your microwave's going to town, everything else is going to town, part of it is because you're going down the road in a rolling earthquake, okay? When you do this rolling earthquake, you better have some kind of stability. Integra does it by X bracing. I have an outside entertainment center. I have a huge TV. And then what's happened is they decided for the angles, which is pretty neat. If I got the sun coming down, I'm watching a football game, and everybody's complaining that it's 1 o'clock and I can't see this TV, now I can move it around. So that, I thought, was pretty clever what they've done. Stereo system, J, uh, JBL. All this stuff was designed by some 26-year-old that knows a lot more about stereos than I do, so this thing will really rock. The other thing that I want to talk about, because all windows aren't created equally, okay? There's a lot of manufacturers that go out there and say, okay, well, I'm doing a flush window. What they're doing is they do this typical trim, and they paint that trim, and then they call that flush. All right, this is a real flush window dual pane and then the clever thing that they're doing if you look at this hinge right here look at this right here instead of having a break right in the center of the coach where they could open the window see how that entire window opens up like an awning so what the advantage to you is the fact that it could be storming pouring down rain whatever and i still got plenty of cross ventilation get some natural air breezes going through the coach so it's the best window in the business now, if you're in Oklahoma, someplace like that, and you can't put that big uh, awning out, what you got is these window awnings that I can pull this window, big massive Gerard awning out, tie it up right here, and I have nice window awnings, and that can ab get abused by all kinds of wind and, and temperatures and rains and all that kind of stuff, and it won't affect the awning whatsoever. Let me show you something pretty nifty, and especially for, for us old farts right here that I get tired of bending under and all that kind of stuff. How about this? This is pretty trick. I don't have to reach in for that slide room, all right? I got a full slide tray that comes out, and it comes out either side, and on top of that, I have two of them, all right? So I could put all my toys in here and not get a broken back trying to slip everything in. So that's what's so neat about this thing. Look at that. That's pretty trick. So I'm going to bring these in now right here. Take a thousand pounds without even thinking about it. Okay, now the other thing that's ex very exciting, and only Integra does, all right, this is a hung siding. All right, there's a couple of manufacturers that do hung walls, but only Integra uses two by three studs every 16 on center. So what I'm telling you is it's built like a house, okay? Typical is lamination. All right, you go to a laminated trailer, no motor, it's $12.99, and the, that's the same lamination used in a lot of these $500,000 coaches. It's insane. All right, you're talking about a waffle board of an inch and a half. All right, this is a three and a quarter inch sidewall, two by three, aluminum studs, 16 on center, framed, headers, just like a house, all aluminum. They don't use an aluminum C-channel, that you can break with your hands. This is actual studding. 
two by three welded studding. All right, so the support's amazing. What does that mean to you? Not only the insulation, because they use a bad insulation overstuffed. Okay, so I'm twice the thickness of insulation of anybody in the industry, but because they use batting versus foam, it's soundproof. All right, that's part of the reason why this coach is so quiet when you're going down a highway, is I have overstuffed fiberglass batted insulation in two by three. The other thing that you're gonna tell is that on lamination, all right, it's going through a, a gluing process. All right, there is no structure in it. They want to put a window, they take a router and they just cut a window in it. All right, this is framed, like I said, like a house. So what that's going to mean to you, I want you to sight down this. You're going to see a glass as close to perfection as you can get versus waves that will make you seasick. And the big reason for that is instead of a business side card type of fiberglass, all right, this thing is like a quarter inch thick. All right, so this comes in huge sheets instead of a roll like carpet does. So I'm gonna have this finish with this superior paint job, the Sickens paint, I'm gonna have this finish that has this elegant classic look that is the best in the business. So the construction of these slides, the construction of, of the batted fiberglass, twice the thickness of anybody else on the market, uh, the fiberglass floors, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the roofs, the triple air conditioners, the heat pumps, hydronic heat, diesel-fired furnaces. I mean, I'm the best insulated coach in the business. I'm the best heated coach in the business. I can take this into very difficult weather, sub-zero weather, and be fine. I sell to a lot of my Canadian friends that don't even winterize these coaches. It's absolutely amazing. So, Now, when I get into the utilitarian part of this coach, this mass of tires, I have the air lift here. I have actual leveling jacks. And then I have a Hadley air system. So you have two methods of leveling this coach. All right, I can do the hard jacks if I'm gonna have 27 people in here at all times and I don't want any rattling whatsoever or wandering around. I can do the jacks or I can level just by using and pushing a button and the air does it by itself. So it's just like the big boys and I got two different opportunities to level this coach. So the DEF, and the coach batteries, 15 gallons. I'm going through probably 2% solution. So what that just means to you is I can go to California, to Florida, to California, and fill it up, what, twice? All right, so it's not a big deal. I have a 150 gallon fuel tank. I have 600 horsepower and a mass of 1,950 pounds of torque. That's almost 2,000 pounds of torque. There's nobody in the industry that would touch me as far as going down the highway. You realize Prevo, okay? Two million dollars. And I get a lot of people that turn around and say, hey, I'll just buy a used Prevo. You're talking about a Detroit five, uh, 500 horsepower, 515 horsepower, 1550 torque, 15,000 pounds heavier than this thing. I have 600, 2,000 pounds of torque. I'll blow your, your doors off. I mean, it's not even close. What's neat this year is they decided to make these electric. So, uh, so old farts had a hard time lifting these things up. They were spring reacted. So now I have an electric system. And I push it up and down about as easy as possible. So even your wife, if she for some reason needs to get back to the motor compartment, can get to it. But the, the one big thing also that I want to talk about, and I've never seen this before until a couple, three years ago, and that is 450 horsepower, 500 uh, horsepower. Coaches are coming with rear radiators. It doesn't make any sense. And the only reason why that's happening is because uh, I, I'll basically tell you, Freightliner has decided to go into the market and try to take over the market and make a coach, uh, the chassis for 7,000 uh, pounds cheaper is by putting a rear radiator. The problem with a rear radiator, there's a number of things. One is access. $120 an hour for a mechanic to get here, and if he has to drag hoses through the bedroom, mama's not happy, and your labor boat goes up. Here I can get to everything. All right, two, and more importantly, is your performance. All right, so what they're talking about is they put these electric fans in here, and you can go down a highway, and you'll be fine. But what happens when you get up to a mountain? And that's the reason why you got something like this is you want to get up to a mountain and you want to get up there successfully and you don't want to strain. 
A rear radiator versus a side radiator is like putting a paper bag over your carburetor. You're restricting the air. There's an air vortex here, and it restricts your airflow. Therefore, your computer, which is in your, in your motor, it's all computerized, it'll keep you from overheating it, it'll keep you from blowing it up, it'll keep you from damaging the motor, and it's all automatic. There's nothing you can do about it. So when I'm restricting my airflow, and I'm going up a mountain, what happens? If it feels like it's not getting enough air and it's starting to overheat, it's going to derate. So when I'm at 450 horsepower, 500 horsepower, 600 horsepower, and I'm getting lack of air, I have 20% more airflow from my side radiator. I'm going to get the performance, and it's not going to derate nearly as quickly as it would if it had a rear radiator. So I find it absolutely amazing these big block motors are now coming with rear radiators. It's, it's like stupid. And then I didn't even talk about you guys that, like I do, live in a driveway that's a half mile long and dirt. You go down that driveway, that rear fan starts blowing up, and you're like a dust cropper, yeah, okay? And by the time you're done, that motor will shut down because you've just blocked up all your radiator with dirt. So your engine shuts down, you have to come back here with a garden hose, clean out your radiator so you can start up again. It's just silly to have a rear radiator. And it's real simple to tell whether you have a side radiator or a rear radiator, okay? One is you look at this grid here, all right? This massive grid here is a side radiator. And two, obviously, is you open the back end. If you can't see the motor, that's a rear radiator, all right? So it's very simple. Anybody can figure it out. But this will give you 20% better usage of your motor because of the airflow with a side radiator. And all Integra products have the side radiator. This is very important. It's the, it's the, the, the rough side, actually, you know, the, the not clean side, and that's your dumps. All right, so here's what Integra has done, which I think is absolutely brilliant. They've made it as clean as possible. All right, so what you have here is this is a soap dispenser. This is your paper roll. You have hot and cold running water. You want to clean the pooch or you, you, you made a mess, whatever. You can clean it up. You have your water filtering systems all here. You have your automatic hose. I have an automatic reel on the next bay over. But this is one thing that is really important. That macerator is about as military as it gets. That is a huge macerator. And what it does is basically put your solid waste in a blender. And then what the, I have a separate door. I don't have my three inch tube that I have to go out and find and then hook up and wear my rubber gloves or any of that nonsense. I have a garden hose here, already pre-hooked. It'll come out 21 feet. It'll go up, down, sideways. I don't have to worry about gravity, anything. And so this macerator right here, unlike some of the competitors that are using these add-on little 12 volt little systems that break after the first year, look at this macerator. This thing is huge. I mean, this thing is just gigantic. I got the electric valves. I have the big pipes. And then the other thing that I really like what they've done, they've given me override switches. For some reason, this does fail. I can go the old fashioned way. There's a dump release from underneath. I pull the valves like the old days, and I'm back in operation. But that's the best system in the business. And I don't know anybody who's doing a system that nice. Let me close it up, and I'll go to the next one. Now, here's the next thing that we're going to talk about here. I have 67,000 BTUs of heat. Hydronic heat versus a forced air system. Best system in the business. It's also 90% more efficient than anybody else out there. So what that's going to do is put hot water radiators throughout the coach. So I'm going to have be very comfortable. Now, the one thing that Integra also does, because they build up their floor, and I'll talk about more about that later, but they actually run hot water tubes underneath your floor for a heated towel floor. Very simple wind up here, all right? In the old days, we used to use these big, massive boat Glendenning power cord reels, and they would always break. They were hard to get to. This is about as simple as it gets. You pull it out, you push a cord, you wrap it in. Very simple. Then I have my surge protector guard already in there. I have my control panel for my aqua hot, my filters, my pumps, everything very clean, everything very easy to get to. 
$120 an hour for, for repairs, that's very important. Some of these things are stuck in the middle of the coach and up, and you have to be like somewhat of a orangutan to get to it. That's not me, and my lead tech is like 250 pounds. There's no way he's doing it. So this makes it very clean. This is what I was talking about, the power slides. Very simple, I have my switch here. And then this is pretty cool. I have eight AGM batteries. What that means to you, unlike a golf cart battery where you have to maintain, these are no maintenance for five, six years. So I basically put them in there, close the doors, and I'm done. I have eight of them. Eight batteries is worth about 16 golf cart batteries. I have more power here to light up a small city. My control center here, very simple. Again, that's what I like about Integra. Anybody can work on these things. The problem with some of these coaches is they claim that they're 70, 80, 90 percent down, means that you got to go to them to get it serviced. Here I can go anywhere. So I have my 12 volts right here. I have my control panel to push out my slide out for my 12,500 pound uh, generator. And it's all remote. You turn on the engine, it's got that pneumatic kind of thing and it'll slide right out so I can service it and get to it very easily. Okay, now that I uh, did a little summary of the outside, let's go ahead and attack the inside. All right, one thing I like about Integra is not only their fit and finish, what nobody will touch. I mean, their cabinetry is just absolutely awesome. So we talk about the Amish and things like that, and what's amazing about this factory is that they're open at 4 in the morning, they close at 2 in the afternoon, and then those guys go out and go work on their, their you know, uh, barns or whatever they do. But uh, right here, very simple. What I like about Integra also is there's very little options. Okay, so you'll get to some manufacturers and they'll turn around and say, okay, here's the base price of the coach, and oh, by the way, here's six pages of options that are attached to it. Okay, and Integra on the cornerstone, well, pretty much all their line, but on the cornerstone, it's just basically pretty simple. So I have my solar panels, my awnings, my generator, my inputs to see what the generator is doing and my power surge is doing, two inverters, okay? When I look at an all-electric coach like this one is and I see one inverter, it's time to leave. Because what happens with that one inverter is that I'm putting all that power in there and it's like if you, if you ever hung Christmas lights, okay? And you go on this 110 cord and you try to do 150 feet with it. All right, what's going to happen? You're not going to get the power, you're going to overheat, things like that. Well, that's what happens if you're trying to run one leg on one inverter to do everything in a coach. So what Integra does is they do one for the appliances, the electric stoves and the microwaves and the refrigerators, and then one for the coach. So I have an equal source. What that means to you, sir, is I turn on, mama turns on the cooking for the, for the stove right there, and both burners work versus one burner. So it's absolutely amazing what two, but this is the right way to do it. This is the way Prevo does it. This is the way Newell does it. This is uh, coaches that are a million dollars more. They all do it that way. And we had enough house batteries. We got a 12.5 generator. We got a 600 motor, two, uh, you know, I have more than enough to handle everything in this coach. Outside, uh, this is to extend the door awning which we didn't really get into. And when you see a blank panel like this, this is that new HD Traveler high definition satellite dish. It's all automatic, it's very simple, but that's, that's an option. Or you get it in motion, which is standard. This is all real leather. This is not a vinyl product, this is real leather. Okay, so what you have here is the seat belts are also tied into the seat. All right, that means a lot. It doesn't look that complicated, but when you see a coach that the seat belt is on the side, what that's telling you is it did not pass DOT regulations. You have to have so many pounds per square inch and all this other kind of stuff to have a seat belt in here, so it has to be mounted, it has to be mounted in steel or something to where it's more of a, like a car nature. That's what you get with this. When you see it mounted over here, or over there, that means this is just on simple plywood. So it doesn't have the 
the PSI rating by the Department of Transportation. So you can see a quality. Now the advantage also with the seatbelt right here is I can turn this thing all the way around. I have a footrest. It's very simple to be part of the atmosphere of the coach. Okay, so the other thing is, is that on the control center here, I have all my stuff, navigation, everything's uh, simple and everything's standard, and then this one is my backup camera. All right, what happens here, and what's pretty neat, is anything that's in this camera right here, or this lens, I can bring up to this camera right here. This is a monitor slash TV set. So what that means to you is if you're half blind like I am, all right, I can see my navigation. Instead of a little seven inch screen, I now have a little 37 inch screen that I can look at my navigation and find out what direction to go in. And I don't have to count on somebody else reading the map. So, so I could raise this up. I could also take my camera, uh, backup camera, side cameras, everything could put up here. So it's pretty neat. All right, let me show you what's neat this year that uh, they've done and I thought it was brilliant is they actually put the husband involved. So I'm being sexist here by saying the husband's the one driving, but uh, they put the husband involved because the wife, okay, the, uh, the wife always had the foot rest, always had the chair that turned around, they had a recliner, and then people would argue about which one to use. Today, this one and this one all has foot rest. No more arguments. So that's, I thought, pretty clever what Integra did is they wrapped in and made two actual workable recliners to watch TV, rest, or do whatever you want. Their tile work this year is absolutely amazing. They've really increased their, their performance in their tile. It absolutely looks like glass. So what we got here is they've gone to an operation that nobody else has, and I thought it was brilliant. All right, like I said earlier, this is a rolling earthquake. Everything's shaking, everything's rattling. All right, so what Integra has done is not only double the insulation of anybody else in the industry and built this coach like a house, like I told you, except with aluminum studs, they actually build this on a floating floor. All right, it's a wood floor. Other manufacturers have given us a hard time about it. Prevo does it, Country Coach did it back in the day on $800,000, $900,000 coaches, so I don't see why Integra can't do it. But what they do is instead of taking the chassis and then laying a deck right on top of the chassis, and then the coach is going down a road and so is your tile, so is your cabinetry, and what that means is cracked tile six months later, cabinetry squeaking. You realize it's only 1 64th of an inch, okay, 1 64th of an inch for wood to cause a squeak. So what these guys do is they do a floating floor, a floating deck. So this is a two by four floating deck. So it's on top of the chassis. The chassis is doing this and the deck is doing this. All right. So that means to you, Mr. Customers, you don't have tile issues. I don't have squeaking issues. I don't have breakage. Okay. And then also I have the insulation. So what I have now is instead of an R9 floor or an R6 floor, which is kind of the standard, is an R6, I have an R33 floor. All right, so that's giving me plenty of room to run hot water tubes under here so I could heat the tile floor. Now, other manufacturers say, oh, I got heated tile floors, I got heated tile floors. What they're telling you is they got electric heated tile floors. So what that means to you is they put their plywood down, they put an electric blanket down, they lay the mortar on top, they lay the tile on top of that, and then you're on your way. What they didn't tell you, it is all 110. So while I can go down the highway, turn on my aqua hot, and actually heat the tile floor with my engine, you have to be plugged in. You have to have the generator running. You have to have one source somewhere of 110 to make sure that that 110 system is working. All right, the negative to that also is, God forbid, you do break a tile. You take a pan, you break that tile. Once you take that tile out, there is no repair for the electric grid. You're done. So you just ruined the electric floor. This one, God forbid, something like that happens, I don't have to worry about it. Instead of Corian, this is now granite. All right, so granite is heavy and it's the best system in the business. It's very high end. And then I have the induction, a true induction. And because of the twin inverters, these will actually work. All right, with one inverter, good luck in trying to turn the two on. 
I see a lot of manufacturers, like I said, with one inverter in it, and they just have no luck turning the two on. And so you're going to get full performance on this. So I have beautiful woodwork. The other thing, when they lay this tile down, they lay it just like a house, okay? What I get a lot of guys, all right, a lot of them will do their tile floors in a separate room. And it's on a wood slab, they do the tile floor in a separate room, then they bring a big crane in and they drop it down. And then the cabinets and the middle walls and everything's right on top of the tile. I don't understand that at all. I understand for production value, it's very simple and very cheap. But for life value, all right, you're talking squeaks, rattles, everything else. Okay, so if your cabinetry, if your wood cabinetry is sitting on tile, what does that mean to you? Like I said, 101.64 inches will create a squeak. This is mounted in wood. It's harder, it's a lot more labor intensive, but it's definitely the right way to do. And I don't know any other manufacturer who does that. Everybody else does the full tile floor and then lay their inner walls. And a lot of them lay their side walls. All right, so you've got the structure of the entire coach resting on tile floors. So if, God forbid again, stress cracks, good luck trying to replace that piece of tile. It's not just going to happen. So what I have here also is low voltage lighting. This is the best lighting in the business. Everything is LEDs. Everything is very low power. All right, but low voltage lighting. Okay, just like Prevo, it's the best lighting system in the business. This is about as simple as it gets. All right, this system could be troubleshooted by anybody. I have my panel right here that pretty much tells me everything there is to do. And then when I see a red light, that means that fuse is not working. All right, I don't have fuse testers or any of that nonsense. And I can operate my entire heating and cooling system right here. I have my aqua hot systems, my monitors, and then again, like I said, my wiring system. This is so sophisticated, okay, there, it's a low voltage system that actually I can go on the internet and get it diagnosed. All right, so there's a hard wire you can plug in if you're having a big problem, and the company out of, uh, I think they're out of Vancouver, they can actually diagnose your coach. It's pretty wild. They can diagnose your coach on the net, find out what's going on with it. This is a low water uh, voltage uh, porcelain commode. Very clean, very residential style. It goes right to the point. You know, I hit the buttons depending on what it is. Very European style but it's the nicest system on the market. It's very clean. You'll notice also the tile goes all the way through and I don't have these border strips everywhere. I have central vacs. I have the sweeper and then I have the hose. I have huge pantries everywhere. I mean, I can put my cereal boxes. I can do whatever I want. I mean, this is a nice little setup. Residential three door refrigerator. Uh, it's a great setup. And this is right out of your house. And what Integra does is they don't use some little Korean name that nobody's heard of, okay? This is all Samsung. Everything in this coach is Samsung. It's all, all high-end quality, and it's not a brand you've never heard of. So it, it's really nice what they've done here. We're going to go into the bedroom a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to show you is something simple as this, all right? We got a TV here. You're out doing whatever you're doing. Your wife's sitting here by herself. She hears a noise outside. She panics. My wife would panic. All right, so what she can do, turn on this TV, and that will automatically light up the outside cameras so she can see what's going on in the coach. It's pretty cool. All right, so if you don't want to get that cell phone call, this one right here, she could find out that it was a dog or whatever it is walking around the coach just by turning on the TV. So it's pretty neat. It also doubles as a security device right here. So I, instead of going under the bed or in the closet, I got my safe right here, easy to get to. And it took me, before they uh, told me how this worked, it took me 20 minutes to find this thing, okay? So if you look how clean it is and flat screens the way it is today, I mean, it's hard to even realize that this thing pops out. So it's pretty cool. I have my low voltage here. This, yeah, that does all the lights, the shades, the dimmers, anything you can think of is all handled right here. Now also, underneath the cabinetry right here, all right, I have a panel as well. So I don't have to get out of bed to turn on a light, 
But more importantly, and I need you to take a look at this, Jeremy, it says those two little switches right there, if you're like I am, I wake up four in the morning, I can't remember whether I locked the front door, that will automatically lock the front door. You don't even have to get out of bed. It's pretty cool. Now what they also did, which I thought was brilliant, this is a Tempur-Pedic bed. That's the best bed in the business. Unlike an air system, Selectmatic Air, uh, Select Comfort, whatever they call them, the problem with them is I go over the Rockies, I forget about it, I'm doing 10,000 feet up in the mountains, I just blew up my bed because the air pressure. Here I don't have to worry about it, plus it's the best bed in the business. All right, so this is a king size bed. This is available in the Cornerstone and the Anthem, and we'll talk about that later, but this is, this is the best bed in the business. All right, so. See this right here? This is very simple. It's a pocket door. No big deal, except how Integra does it. Again, it's residential style. It's solid wood. And then I forget about this, and I put it like this. What you don't realize is there's an air pocket. It looks like a hockey puck that will raise the minute I start the motor. So just like it sucks in that front door that I discussed earlier, it actually raises here, locks this in position. So mama doesn't have to come back here at 60 miles an hour and say, oops, I forgot this door, it's slamming. It will actually lock it in position. Now the advantage to that is, again, I said, this is the quietest riding coach you'll ever be in, and I'm even comparing it against Prevo. And I sold Prevo for 15 years. This is a bad to the bone animal right here. So what this does is pocket doors have a tendency of doing this. When I have that air bladder expand like that, it keeps the noise, stops the noise out cold. So, th so that's a really neat feature. So the side benefit, of course, if I leave it like this, it'll lock it in position. But that's what it was designed for. Now I have here a residential style shower. Uh, this is all handmade. The artwork that is done is absolutely amazing. So that's big guys. I'm not considered a petite guy anymore. I was in the fourth grade, but that's about it. So what you have here is enough room to operate. All right, I'm not going to feel claustrophobic in the shower. This is a great shower. And the finish work will put it up against any million dollar house out there. So these are macerator style commodes on top of that big macerator we were talking about. All right, I have a rear sliding closet. I'm going to reach over here and, and open this up for you. But you'll also notice that it's cedar lined. Integra is the only coach out there that insulates the rear cap and the front cap. Can you imagine going to a builder and saying, okay, I want you to build me a custom house and it's gonna cost a million dollars, but only insulate the north and south walls. Leave the east and west alone. It's stupid, all right? So here you have this massive motor out here, which means massive heat, massive noise, and you don't insulate. Now you have a shower and humidity with heat. What does that mean to you? Mildew, mildew, it's gonna happen except the way Integra does it, all right? They not only do cedar lined, they also overstuff the rear end with insulation. Means to you, quieter motor, quieter engine, quieter house noise. It also means no mildew. I don't have mildew issues on a rear bath like a lot of these manufacturers have, all right? Then I have the residential style washer and dryer. I'm not doing RV style. This is Whirlpool. Most people have heard of Whirlpools right out of your house. So this is an uh, apartment size wash and dryer, a real one, instead of some kind of combo thing. And so I can actually use it. Now, for some reason, if a tech needs to get in here, that's my access door right here. And now I'll get to the motor, and chances are you'll never use it. This is MCD shades, the best shades in the business. And I have blackout shades and solar shades. This will turn on any light and drop any shade separately. And so this is the best system in the business. It's very clean. There's really no warranty issues. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The other thing that I didn't even talk about is these guys are the only guys, period, because all these other manufacturers talk a big game, these guys are the only guys that actually back it up with a two-year full warranty bumper to bumper. Nobody, no questions asked, no small writing, oh, that valve doesn't count, 
okay? It, you have a problem with this coach in two years, it's taken care of. And it doesn't have to be to an authorized Integra service center. It's wonderful. They are the best when it comes to a warranty work and taking care of you. And you'll find that out with Integra. So the, the loyalty with the Integra customers is amazing. So I've been in this business like 22 years. And I sold Prevos for like 15. And I sold some very high-end Prevos. When you talk about this with a list price of 600 whatever thousand, and that suggest, suggested list is somewhere in there. All right, versus them, that's like 2.3 million. Now you're talking about 515 horsepower, 600 horsepower Integra. You're talking about 20,000 front end, 20,000 front end Integra. You're talking about 20,000 towing capability, so you can take every toy in the world with you. 20,000 pound tow capability. The other thing you're talking about is not only am I 600 horsepower and almost 2,000 pounds of torque, they're 1550, all right? And that's even Newell and all these others, all right? What, what we got is, is the same capability and more with 600 horsepower, but I'm also like 12, 15,000 pounds lighter. I mean, nobody's touching this coach. I enjoyed our few minutes together with this incredible coach, the Integra Cornerstone. My name is Rob McCracken. Check us out at RV1, and I would love to see you.